A couple weeks ago, I decided to carve my artwork into erasers. This was such a fun experience because I got to turn my art into stamps. And that's something that I have done actually in the past on my channel, but I've always used traditional lino cutting or block printing art supplies. So to use something cheap that most of us have laying around our house, I decided to start a series where I carve my art into erasers. And just like last time, we're gonna use this paper. You can use whatever you have. If you wanna make this as cheap as possible, use printer paper. I mean, this honestly feels really similar to it anyway. <laughs> I also have this crusty little ink pad that I filled with ink because it was crusty and burnt out and we made do. So we're gonna use it again. Let's take our first eraser. I'm just going to sketch out what I want to draw. I'm gonna do a little border. Oh, I just love how smoothly the pencil goes on these erasers. Okay, so I need a little botanical eraser to pair with the other one. And I'm gonna try to make this one relatively detailed. Okay, we have our little stamp carving tool. Let's see how it turns out. As always, make sure you carve away from yourself when you do this. Don't take after me and like be unsafe. <laughs> All these little shavings are so satisfying. I'm gonna make the stem a little thicker. Okay, it looks like we should do a couple things in the corners because it's kind of boring right now. Ooh, what if I made the corners look sketched like another wiggly tiny little line? Ugh, that's a cool idea. And then I'll do some like little sketched corners too. I think we're ready to do the stamp pad. Let's dip it. Okay, let's see. <gasps> that is so cute. I'm gonna do another one. <gasps> oh my goodness, I love that. One more, one more. We have to. <gasps> Three times the charm. Ugh, I just love how it turned out. Let's do another one. Why not? I know I say this all the time, but creating for the sake of creating is just so fun. I can't get enough of it. I don't have to create a masterpiece right now, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna have fun. I hope you can do the same thing. So happy with how this came out. I think for fun, we should do some sort of like stuffed animal thing. Let's try to do a teddy bear. Wearing a bow. This is kind of intricate, but uh, we'll try it. It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but we'll make it work, right? Wow, it's so hard to do tiny eyes. <laughs> This might not turn out, but we can hope for the best and be optimistic and it's all good. Okay, the outline of the bow. Okay, so I foolishly made this bear holding a flower and I don't know how this is gonna go because this is very uh, difficult to do details. <laughs> okay, we have one petal done. I am so nervous. Ooh, I should do a little leaf on the flower. Oh, 
Okay, <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but <gasps> ooh, you know what? I don't want all this excess up top, so let's get rid of it. Wow, this is so cute. I just wanna put this in my pencil case <laughs> and use it. Let's see how it goes. I have my ink pad here. This is how it looks up close. And we stamp it. <laughs> I don't know if I can even tell what's happening. What is happening? Hold on, hold on, we have to do this again. Okay, it's a little better, but not my best, you know? All right, that one's the best one so far, but I think I like the plant one the most. This one is a little... Creeping me out. That's what, that's what it's doing, it's creeping me out. What should we name our creepy teddy bear? Comment down below. Let's do another one. This is just too fun. We did a paintbrush in the last video and it would be so fun to do a pencil in this one, am I right? Okay, let's try it. That was actually really easy to draw too, that was sweet. You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Okay, so I think I want to carve out all of this space around it as well. I have another one of these carvers actually. So I will use a bigger attachment. This one is like a little square. First I'll go around this actually one more time with this. Just so I don't make a mistake. Oh, this is so fun. Let's stamp this pencil. Okay, opening the ink pad. I can't wait to see how this one is gonna turn out. <gasps> That's really cute. Oh, and I love when there's little like carving remnant prints in different places. It always makes it seem more stampy, you know? <gasps> oh, I love this one. We love a good art supply stamp, am I right? Wow, that one turned out so good. So good, I like it. This one and that one, definitely my favorites. Here's how it looks afterward. <gasps> I just got a sweet idea. What if we did a Zentangle stamp? Like just swirls everywhere and everything and just see how it turns out. Do you wanna freestyle it and not even do lines? That sounds kind of scary, right? I don't know if I'm brave enough for that. Let's let's do lines on the first one and then maybe we'll do another one later. Later it comes later dear, for many of us. I promise you that we learn through the wrongs. And even the rough can be sweet. Just close So I'm going to talk about this eraser here for a moment. I actually messed up on it and I had to redo it. You'll see it later. 
but I'm including both the messed up one and the one that went okay because I want to show you like what you see on YouTube is edited and we mess up. Like we're all artists. We're not perfect. We're all humans. So yeah, I tried a different technique for this one and I didn't use my carving tools. I actually just used this pointy thing that came in a clay making kit. But I've heard of people using paper clips and they carve into erasers. I couldn't find a paper clip, so this is what I used. And it was like the biggest fail. <laughs> so I retract my statement about the whole paper clip thing. I wouldn't recommend it. I would just use carving tools. I spent so long on this. Like, yeah, I was so proud of all the little details. And then I did this and then I stamped it. Boom, fail. Let's do it again. Mm, fail, fail. So I went back over it and I carved back into it, hoping that this would work out. And I went over every line multiple times, took my jolly time because I was so convinced that this would work. And maybe it would have if I would have done this like a third time, I don't know. But you're gonna see what happens in a second and it is a major fail, but I'm going to show it to you because I see y'all in my comments always saying you're afraid to tackle the art that scares you. You're afraid your art's going to be bad, whatever. We learn from our mistakes, guys. It's OK. It's OK. I'm going to make this mistake here. All right. Ready for it? Boom. Still didn't turn out. Oh, look at this. Still didn't turn out. It's OK. Just have grace with yourself and move on. I'm gonna put this eraser aside. I can use it as an eraser later, but I'm gonna do the same exact design again right here. And I'm gonna use my carving tools. I'm glad I tried it with a different tool just to see how it would go. I think the beauty in trying things and then having them not turn out as we had hoped is just amazing because it's a wonderful learning experience and that part of art is not discussed enough. When we make mistakes, we gave ourselves an amazing learning opportunity. So if you look at your artwork and you're not happy with it and you're just like, why even try again? Just remember you are learning and that's awesome. Keep it up. I'm proud of you. See, look, mine turned out in the end. I tried again, and that is so cool. This was seriously so fun. I don't know what it is about doing small, lighthearted art projects like this that just makes me so happy but I really enjoyed this. That's why there was a part two because I couldn't get my mind off of it. I wanted to do it again. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know which eraser carving stamp thing was your favorite in this video. And if you want a part three, let me know too, because I do have a couple erasers left. Earlier, I messed up on an eraser. It didn't turn out and I set it aside and I redid it. So I want to discuss the messed up eraser. I'm just going to use it as an eraser. That's the beauty of this. I mean, if you mess up, it's not like it's a wasted eraser. It still has its initial function. And if you don't want to use these as stamps anymore, like maybe you just want this to be a one time thing, just use it as an eraser again later. Like not a big deal at all. I didn't think I would like this one as much as I did, but it might be my favorite. Of course, I do like the botanical ones too. These ones were really fun to do. All right, thanks for hanging out. Maybe there will be a part three soon. Who knows? This is just a fun little side thing that I'm doing in between large paintings and I'm really enjoying it. All right, have a beautiful day. Bye.